Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Stumpwater Jack, um, also known as Nick. Or <clears throat> I'm distracted. What? Let's try this again. Hey guys, Stumpwater Jack, <laughs> and uh, it's time for another Time Off Tuesday. Again, we're gonna jump into part two of my first first playthrough of Call of Cthulhu. Uh, so let's go ahead and just jump right in. I'm ready to go. So let's do it. Enter madness. Man, sorry, I'm a little bit scatterbrained. Normally I start at 6 o'clock, we're starting a little bit late. Uh, based on just a few things that happened today. Oh, man, it's just been a little crazy. Nothing too insane. <laughs> Camera, why you know behave? Oh, I got this all ready to go before we started, and then now things don't want to work. Ah, fuck. Wow, it's just gonna be a pain like that, huh? <sighs> Alright, well, I'm not gonna stop the stream, but BRB will reset this camera. It's being a pain. So anyways, I hope everything's going great with all you guys. Um, we've been having some car issues over here. Nothing where anything's not driving, more of like airbag sensors not working and random weird messages popping up on infotainment centers and it's just ugh, stressful. But not the end of the world, so we'll see. Find my face. Find it. Is that better? Oh, nope. I'm almost there. I don't know why it's being such pain. Okay, we're going to go with this. Time to keep on rolling. Here we go. All right. Let's see. So, I wonder if this is going to actually restart right where I left off, which is some weird cult dude. I found somebody in an attic, and they went running by me, so we need to find him. So hopefully we start off there and not have to redo this whole thing. Ah! There we go. You! Stop! I don't remember how to run. All right, here we go. Bradley, the chat did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? Yes, a man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. And I have got to figure out a lighting for my face because you can tell it's not the cleanest. You can see it. And before, lighting used to be fine, but now it wants to be all weird. I'll cover you. Yay, this lighter doesn't take up anything. This, however, uses a foil. This door was closed earlier. Time to catch creep from the creep person. Oh, I do remember that. That one was closed before. Where did he go? Must have got out some way. No, no, he was here. I'm sure. Let's search this room. Okay, cool. Um, so I'm just looking at stuff right here. I guess I don't necessarily need. Look, come on, get out of my way! Jerkalus. Have you seen the old maritime maps on Charles Hawkins' desk? Strange. 
No ship has left Darkwater's shore for years. Maybe he kept them for sentimental reasons. Come on, bro. We all know smuggling ships or smuggling operations happen around here. Charles Hawkins was a sort of traveler, right? More like an adventurer, I guess. He left for months, exploring remote places and abandoned temples. They look like Celtic ruins. Charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips. Occultism progression. Show me. Oh, I have four CP. It must have been from the last thing that's happened. All right, let's invest some points and get better at being a detective. Again, I can't pop these up, which is annoying. I say last time. Oh yeah, we're almost here at spot hidden, so definitely popping this up. And boom! Level four. Oh, and I was also bumping this as well. This needs two. I have three left. We'll go ahead. Yeah, I can actually talk like a professional. I'm not expert in this. Find this stuff. Hmm. Huh. I want to bump up my psychology or investigation. Uh, gonna leave strength where it's at, and I can't prove these two. Honestly, I gotta maybe bump up medicine just one. But let's see, psychology. But investigation is needed too. Don't care so much about picking locks, though. It is a helpful skill. Ah, uh, well, because it needs less, we'll finish this off and then do psychology, I guess. All right, validate. <laughs> Detective Edward Pierce. <laughs> Trophy. I don't have any mental trauma. So that's good. Oh, let's see. Inventory notes, those things I found. Oh, Hurricane Lamp. What does things say? Old Hurricane Lamp, still working. Just gotta be careful. It burns a lot of oil. Excuse me. Look at that. A comparative anal analysis. Analysis. Couldn't fit the whole title, I guess. Either that or somebody just forgot to type an S. <laughs> Celtic runes. But what are they written on? Bone? Corks? Lady fingers? Sketch bad! Sir Hawk is sketching like gallery of horrors and anatomical studies to represent what haunts her nights. It looks like an old seaway map. Somebody had coordinates to this old sea map. They make up a journey. <laughs> Anything on the back? Nope. So far, nothing has been on the back. <laughs> the Scylla, the Prodigal, the Orpheus, and the San Claudine. Interesting. Have you seen the old maritime maps on Charles Hawkins' desk? Strange. No ship has left Darkwater's shore for years. Maybe he kept them for sentimental reasons. Oh, oh, what's that? Uh, there we go. I was like, I can't find things. This Dr. Fuller, was he Sarah Hawkins' therapist? Charles, I understand. Oh, wow, I don't know how anybody's supposed to actually read that. Good thing they have this thing. Charles, I understand your worries, but I assure you that Sarah's in good hands here at the Riverside Institute. It goes without saying that her state requires very specific care and a high level of attention. Her full potential will only be able to express itself if she is placed in a secure environment and surrounded by qualified staff. The decision is yours, of course, but it seems to, but I seem to understand that you are running out of time. Your friend, Thomas Fuller. You are running out of time. Interessante. Anything on this desk? There's nothing. 
nothing in the drawer. Already checked out the maps. This globe is suspicious. I want to check other stuff first. Ooh, look at this. As if the bookcase has been moved several times. Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. Hmm, and then, who's that guy? Let's see, it's photograph Charles Hawkins, Captain Fitzroy, posing with a third man. They seem close. Who's this third man? Is there a name on the back? No, of course not. Why would there be anything remotely else? I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. Probably another friend of Hawkins. It looks like a freehand map of dark water. Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. What could it all mean? This part, that big circle, the darkness, monsters. It's on the back. There's absolutely nothing. The Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. This panel is movable. Cogwheels. They must be linked to an opening mechanism. Probably a secret passage. Uh, I must find a way to activate the opening mechanism. Um. I'd be better off not touching them for the moment. Yeah, if there's a mechanism, that means there's probably a way to open it. Charles Hawkins say. was a sort of traveler, right? More like an adventurer, I guess. Seems like this came from a log. Monday, 24th May, 1847. 42 North, 70 West, Starkwater Island. We sailed north all morning. Captain Hamilton is confident. He says that we'll beat the Orpheus this season. May God be merciful. Sunday, 30th May, 1847. 47 North, 55 West. I've heard it when the whales disappeared without trace. With these carcasses, we can no longer ignore their sad fate. What is eating these huge beasts? I told Hamilton that it was a bad omen. He doesn't care. Jeez, what did he eat? Is it a giant squid? Cthulhu. Uh, 49 North, 61 West. We dropped anchor near a village. The inhabitants say that the waters are red with the blood of the sacred beasts, and to follow them is to defy the gods. I told them I only feared God Almighty, but in the loneliness of the hold, I'm scared. Ooh. We have sighted a huge whale in the distance, its size seeming to be beyond anything known to man. It ends out an infernal song. Oh, it sends out an infernal song. Hamilton wants it. Wednesday, June 23rd, 1847, 33 degrees north, 53 west. We've caught it. It's the most grotesque well I've ever laid eyes upon. It will go into memory as the biggest catch ever. Men have died, but we have gained glory. This day will be celebrated for years to come. Uh, Tuesday, June 29th, June 1847, dark water. We have beaten the Orpheus, returned with empty holds. The Scylla and Hamilton are only memories. So that means I could have swore it was the Scylla that, that had the whale that brought back, which was supposed to be the miracle. Hey, seeing my Discord update went out. Good, good, good. There must be a link with the Seaway map. Looks like the navigational paths described in the log. So. Judging by the coordinates, let's see. Ugh. It's got to either be the Prodigal or the Saint, Saint Claudine. That's 51. 5 West. 41 Nile or Nile wasn't the Saint Claudine, which means I'm guessing the Prodigal. Really? That doesn't seem right either.
just read this thing, yet it doesn't go into the clues. Interessante. There must be a link with the Seaway map. Wiki Island Seaway. 4785, Looks like the navigational paths described in the log. seems to have been part of some mechanism. Looks like the navigational paths described in the log. There must be a link with the seaway map. 3353? Looks like the navigational paths described in the log. The only one that went to 3353 is the Scylla. There must be a link with the Seaway map. North then west, right? Oh. Doesn't work. There must be a link with the seaway map. Thirty three north, fifty three west, okay. Smart guy. <laughs> well done, Pierce. Well done. Good man. Twenty three skidoo. Circle to the, uh, the shanty. I'm confusing it. Why does it have a thing on it when I have no... nothing new? Oh, I guess they updated that description. That's what I'm gonna imagine. Okay. 
Okay, make sure there's nothing else here. Looks like the navigational paths described in the log. Have you seen the old maritime maps nope, no. on Charles Hawkins' desk? Strange. No ship has left dark water shore. What happens if I use the crowbar now? I'd be better off not touching them for the moment. I'm not going to, because maybe in the future I need this thing to close? I need it to stay locked? I don't know. I just find it funny that I could use the crowbar on it. <laughs> I'd be better off not to... Alright, here we go. To the next level! Tunnels under the Hawkins Mansion. Inside the Hawkins Mansion, the scene of the fire revealed in secrets. Pearson Officer Bradley, now on the trail of a survivor, have undertaken the search to place. Oh. Wow. Had undertaken the search. Had undertaken to search the place looking for proof. When a hooded man leaped into Sarah Hawkins' workshop to steal a painting, detective and police officers set off after him. By following him to the office of Charles Hawkins, they discovered a secret passage. Charles. Uh, Pearson Bradley into the tunnel under the mansion. Oops, sorry, I was checking the uh, thing. I thought I had Discord message. It turned out there was an old message just getting through now for some reason. Alrighty, let's do this. Secret passage under the manor. It's like a detective novel. That guy must have already gotten yeah, far. It is. Yeah. And he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. We must find him. What is this place? It's more than just a tunnel. Look. Someone's been here recently. Doo -doo -doo. Oops, wrong button. Here we go. Dark water. Places. Tunnels under the Hawkins Mansion. Who would have guessed that the Hawkins Mansion was hiding such a big and intricate tunnels? Wow, wow, why can I not read today? Wow. Who would have guessed that the Hawkins Mansion was hiding such big and intricate tunnels underneath? It seemed to be the hideout of a cult of some kind. I can't believe Sarah and Simon lived right above such danger without knowing anything. That means they might actually have known something. Whoa! Any skills for me at home? Come on, man. CD. Three seats. Ooh, oh, reconstruction seat. Great. I'm a smart guy. I can figure this out. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? Ah, oh, faceless people. Oh man, was that uh, Vision of the Future? Oh man, was that Officer Bradley who was with me and he gets killed by weird tentacle man? Whatever Charles Hawkins hid here, he didn't want it in his house.
The bearer of the mask must have been the leader. What kind of secret society is this? Cthulhu for Targan. Cthulhu for Targan. This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Was Sarah Hawkins here? Sarah... Which means she must have been one of the people... Or she was at least down here. Gotta double check to make sure there's nothing else. I don't think there is, but... Don't, because I'm a super spotter that I spotted things. Memorized. This padlock is too complicated for me. But not for a crowbar. Come on, man. Disfigured saint. What does it mean? What does it mean? A disfigured saint. What does it mean? Of course. Of course it is. And something tells me that the key is climbing these steps. There's tunnels all over this island. Given the size of this cave, there's got to be other entrances. The passage continues further down. Might as well start with that. I ain't gonna Jeez, squeeze in there. Too. I'll find another way. If possible, I prefer not to ruin my uniform. Fine, fine. Go look for another entrance. I'll try my luck down below. Okay. Jerk. Sorry, I had to take a brief break to spill soup on myself. That's what I get for you. Not eating sooner, but... Oh. Everything's kind of down to last minute again. Started late, so... It's so dark. It's too dark. Find the Thief's Trail, second year children. Go to the main cave. Okay, main cave is the secondary. That's interesting. Ooh, 
disgusting water. It's thick and chunky. What's in this water? <laughs> Let me get something fell behind me, and I can't go back now. Some kind of dream catcher. If I touch it, it'll turn to dust. So touch it, touch it, touch it. Uh, Some kind of dream catcher. If I touch it, it'll turn to dust. These paintings must be several centuries old. Disappeared tribe. A cult. A tribe of men, worshippers of the sea and its benefits, landed on the shores of an island surrounded by dark waters. They were discovered by the creatures some they were discovered by the creatures some called the devourer of whales for years the creature hunted them down into their dreams until their weakened minds surrendered following the creatures orders they sunk into the dark waters around the island and never came back extra taken from malleus bestarium by abigail g deep ones There you go, bringing you that high quality content you crave. <laughs> Clues. Yet to ground any chamber. A strange edge chamber hidden at the entrance of the network of caves raises a few questions. The presence of a table and three chairs leads to the belief that Charles Hawkins used this place for meetings in small groups. The existence of objects with esoteric connotations is more worrying since they led to the impression that, that we may be in the presence of a cult. Moreover, the torn fabric revealing Sir Hawkins' presence in the place does raise questions. Was she in danger because she discovered these tunnels? The Devourer! This monstrous creature must be an allegory. <laughs> sure, buddy. Let's keep telling ourselves that. Oh, more stuff. An old diary. In this volume, there is mention of the beliefs of the lost tribe, the worship entity that spoke to them in their sleep. The whole tribe seemingly disappeared in a mass sacrifice to the glory of their deity. Cthulhu Vatagan. Sad way to go. Volume 10, Diary of Pastor's Wife, Volume 2. Diary of a Black, Mad Black Woman, Volume 3. Wait, what? Sad way to go. Evil statue. Ah, these people lying down. Are they dead? Are they asleep? Both.
These buildings seem to have come out of the water. And Morale, Cthulhu sleeps. Did I check out the statue at all? Nope. Okay. I feel like I should save the lantern for really dark places, but it did help me find some stuff, so. These buildings seem to have come out of the water. These people lying down. Are they dead? Are they asleep? This monstrous creature must be an allegory. These paintings must be several centuries old. City under the sea. There's any more murals, so okay. Hmm. Okay, cool. Found. Can I unlock this at all? Still requires a key. Okay. Um, time to spend a point. Let's see. I use strength. Pretty interesting cave. Okay, the thief went up, so don't go up. Look at everything else first. What's that noise? Huh. Time has weakened these structures. These lamps seem to burn eternally. What? I don't have time to search them all. We can search one. I don't have time to search them all. Looks like animal oil, but certainly not whale. Cthulhu oil. <laughs> it looks like animal oil, but certainly not whale. Just light on fire. What's going on here? Beers! Keep your voice down. We're not alone. Good God. What have you got me into? Shut up. Shut up, bro. We'll see. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. 
Yeah, th there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. About to have deja vu. Sanity now. <gasps> Is that a picture of me? I don't like this. Oh, big gory hole. Gory, not glory. Gory. Oh, man. Locked. Uh, because I have to check this out. I have to start to send it to madness. Grave. It's a chunk of shark. Why is there a picture of me? An engraved whalebone. A strange creature has been carved into it. Probably a figure of worship. Table for sacrifice? Okay. Don't fall in the hole. But I have a feeling that's what's gonna happen. Okay. No more CP. Clues. Can't breathe. What's happening? Okay, oh. leave the place as fast as you can, okay? No, damn it! I must find a way out of here. Okay. Okay, let me go. Okay. Okay. Whew. Okay, I'm no longer panicking. Hooray! Ooh, what happened to me? <gasps> Sanity! Nightmares! Okay, my sanity is still stable. 
That's good. What happens if I go back there? Am I gonna go crazier? Panic again? Nope. Okay, never mind. Going back. Going back. Going back. crazy now Pierce don't go crazy okay is it is it my turn yes it is time you will soon be one of us if your body and mind are ready I dream of it every night I have constant visions I am ready Good enough. Boy, you're gonna die. Prove it to us. It's like in my dream. Tinsel diary. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was the door I tried. Pre-Columbian tribal dagger, probably destined for scarification rituals. Found the dagger tunnels under Hawkins Manor. It's owner left it behind when he went to with the other. I'm guessing it's supposed to say hooded men, not hotted men. Can I use the dagger to defend myself? Shank some boys? Some culty boys? Knife in a sense, but yeah, that's a ritual knife because that wouldn't be really good for slicing so much, it would be for piercing and rending. Gosh, occultism pre classical Latin. Let's see what it says. What is this awakening they talk about and this sacred flesh? Bible, period. Numerous passages have been overwritten or annotated. Strange way to study the Holy Scriptures. Pre-classical, meaning... Does that mean it's not Ecclesia? Meaning it's, uh, you know, actual Roman Latin? Try that yet? Or do I want to look around some more?
also don't want to get eated, eated it by anything. But I guess I have no reason to think I believe I'd be eated it by anything. stuff, but I can't search any of it? Alright, let's go back to this. <sighs> okay. I'll try this door. Cthulhu Nithsiha Fitag. Grant him your flesh and accept his, so that his body and yours may be one. Yibithnk Hupadk Cthulhu Bithnkor. Dead. This ritual killed him. Where's the sense in that? Jeez. We are ready for the ceremony. What about your protege? <sighs> His awakening is complete. He will join you shortly. what happens. Oh no, which 
The cop might get killed here soon. Nobody. Bradley, what are you doing here? I saw two odd looking guys coming down. Seemed up to no good. You're gonna die. No, I don't want to die. What in the world is this? Oh no, why did he talk? An intruder! Oh shit! Don't move! No! Police! Don't move! Oh no, he's gonna die. I won't hesitate! Bradley, get back! Show. Get back! You asked for it! Oh, he's gonna die, no! Oh, jeez, he got shot in the face and something coming. No! You shouldn't have seen this. Oh no, it's Charles. Oh, no! Ah! He's the tentacle man. No! Ah, the temple. Oh. Uh, I don't know what's about to happen, but uh, I'm going to invest this point real quick and then, like, run. <laughs> um. Um. Okay, I don't know what to do there. Ah. It's been cold to say. Later on, frozen stone. Someone said that they're dead, but their bodies don't decompose. Are they in some form of coma? One thing is sure, these men were subject to a type of treatment that changed their physical characteristics. I'm sure we can still call them men. Extract from them. Ah, I don't know what to do. Ah, ah, ah! To get out of here. Gotta run. Oh. Uh, I don't know which way to go. Find any more clues? Can I do anything else? I guess I just need to get out of here, even though I can walk around. Look at stuff. Oh, come on, I gotta make it. Gotta make it. No, don't slow Light. down. Light! At last. Please, something don't grab me. Oh, no! Oh, no! Pearson, Officer Bradley followed the intruder to the secret meeting place of a cult in a network of underground caves right under the Hawkins Manor. They witnessed a strange ceremony led by Charles Hawkins, very much alive. Bradley tried to arrest him, but Hawkins, whose body displayed various mutations, disemboweled the police officer. As he tried to escape from him, Pierce found himself prisoner of a rock fall. Rushed to the Riverside Institute, he is in a critical state. Oh, so that means I got found. This seems like a good time for me to take a quick break. I can use the restroom. Maybe heat myself up a little bit more food. Um, yeah, so BRB, hopefully like five minutes while this level loads anyways. All right, be right back, guys.
All right, and we're back. So I thought I was going to be able to heat up a snack, but I guess my wife hadn't run to Kroger. So I don't know if she's there now. I honestly don't know if she's upstairs working on her travel agent stuff or if she's at Kroger. It's kind of hard to pay attention. Anyways, time to enter some more madness. Madness. It's the man from the photograph. No! Yay, drugs. Ugh. I mean, my guy's been He's abusing sleeping pills and alcohol. Oh no! Ah, seizure? No. He was alive. A strong subject. What are you doing to me? You're supposed to be healing me. Not doing experiments on me. <gasps> ah there. He's opening his eyes. What have they been for? I, I can't get up. Don't move, Pierce. Wait, you can certainly say that you gave us a scare. <laughs> what did you do to me? Is he supposed to be dead? Undo these straps. Whoa, go easy, my friend. Oh, Dad, he killed you. Are you sure he's better? Oh, he was, he was dead. Me too. We, we were dead. What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. No. no. What? No. What happened to me? Where am I? I'm in the loony bed, no! Oh, I can't check my other Sanders, you have to come with us. No, please! I can't leave here! You've got no choice, Sanders, and neither you do can't we! can't escape, can't escape. You don't understand! If I go out, he'll see me! No, no! You're leaving this cell! Please! Oh. I don't want him to find me. They put me in a padded jacket, but I'm not actually confined. Can't escape Cthulhu, no. Can I only sleep? That's it. Is there really nothing else? What is this? <coughs> this gasping siphoned into my room? What is this? What is this? I noticed it, but it wasn't able to do anything. Just a pot, this is my only option is to sleep. Just like in real life. Smelling salts, adrenaline, or something. Such nonsense. There's another guy. I 
Stop purposely. You there. Wake up. Come on, stand up. We don't have much time. Oh, Mary. Mary. Can you stand up? Who are you? A friend of Ethan Bradley. It was he who told me that you had been interned here. Wait. Bradley is really alive. I don't understand. You filled me so full of drugs I can't distinguish dream from reality. Please believe that I have nothing to do with these disgraceful treatments. Look, I don't have time to explain everything. I'm not really supposed to be here. And the same goes for you, according to Ethan. You must leave as soon as possible, and as unobtrusively as possible. I've brought you your clothes. Let me go ahead. We'll meet upstairs. Okay. Wait Just a minute. Lucky. Watch me change. Good. Uh, hmm. What's going on here? What do they do to the patients to make them so terrified? I would really like to know. I only see them when they are brought up for medical treatment. For problems they didn't have before going downstairs. But this is neither the time nor the place to talk about that. We must not stay here. There oh, are two the men doctor. standing Those guard near the stairs. It's the only way to the floor above. I shall try to distract them and get at least one to come with me. All you need to do is to follow me as soon as the way is free. Understood. So I, nope, I don't get any other questions. Dang. Escape from the asylum. I'm an amateur. Still suck at medicine, novice. My sanity. Yay, it's still decent. The ritual. Oh, I guess I missed something else before. Did... Oh, hmm. I wonder if I could unlock other mental trauma if I'd stayed in that room and had a full-on panic attack. Interesting. The tunnels in the Hawkins Mansion Pierce witnessed the disemboweling of Professor Bradley by a man with a monster spirits. The men in gowns and rituals have not succeeded in affecting the veteran. However, the brutal death of Bradley, the discovery of the identity of his killer, whom he recognized as the dead Charles Hawkins, as well as the latter's superhuman strength, managed to strike fear into him. Spirit 
He still doesn't know if he should believe what he saw. He may even put these visions of horror to the shock caused by the death of Bradley, or he may have put put down to lax oxygen provoked by the rock ball. Hmm. Okay. Nightmares, the ritual. Charles Hawkins! Charles Hawkins is alive? Despite its crude and deformed appearance, this thing looked like Hawkins. He attacked Bradley after he recognized him. What could have happened to Charles on the night of the fire? I've never seen a major burn its victim in such a state. Something's not right. Marie Court. Golden, sorry. Age 32, occupation doctor. Officer Bradley's female friend works as general practitioner at the Riverside Institute. She has figured out long before I arrived that Fuller was involved in illegal activities. Once she shed full light on the nature of his experiments, believes that helping me solve the Hawkins case could advance her own investigation. Bradley, I think you're dead. Uh... What does this mean? <laughs> what did they inject him with? Am I in an asylum? What did he write about the painting? In his eyes, this symbol must have some protective virtues. The paintings are cursed. They'll come for you. you can't escape. Sarah. Sarah. Sarah Hawkins is on this list of authorized visitors. Hmm, very interesting. Sorry, Bob Rooney. <laughs> somebody in there. I don't know if I should go in there. If I don't get out of here, I'll end up like him. Thank <laughs> you. 
and check any charts. say that I'm surprised to see you, but we all know that your curiosity will be your ruin. I don't understand. These people need care. You keep them in this terrible place as if... Go back upstairs where your patients are waiting for you to treat them. As for you, gentlemen, do not disappoint me anymore. If no one enters or leaves... Yes, Dr. So when any suspects your presence, a white marker appears. Marker changes. Damn it! Just... I'll have to find a way of getting rid of those two myself. I told you not to let her come down. I know. Ooh, I guess hiding makes you go a little crazy. Not gonna do that. Oops. Cellars of the Riverside Institute. One of the cells of the asylum. The same symbol written in black chalk and repeated over and over again on the padded walls does make one think. It represents a five pointed star with in its center what could be a twig, a branch, or a feather. A few cryptic phrases accompany the drawing, but they do not seem to have a logical meaning. There is mention of a look, a portal, and a painting. Finally, the patient's file, which fell when the guards tried to take him out, reveals that he received a visit from Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> There's the guard. Find the keys. That's a the machine is working again, but the control wheels haven't been put back on. I was just going to the storage room. I can bring them to you. No, Dr. Fuller doesn't want us touching the pressure valves. As you want. I'm gonna see if there are sleeping pills left. They've run out again upstairs. Put a few aside for me, will you? And above all, leave the wheels where they are. Ooh, if I need to create a distraction, if I mess with those pressure valves, then those guys can maybe come running.
Locked. Exactly what I need. Oh, Brevary of Medicine, Tome 1. This heavy tome, the first in of three volumes, is the bedside book of every experienced practitioner. It contains all the recent advances of modern medicine. It is frequently found in the libraries of major medical universities. It is surprising to discover a copy in such an isolated place as Darkwater. Hooray! Let's see. Control wheel to mount on a plumbing system. Yeah. Whoa, why is it always default to that? Okay, I guess those guys can't see it in here, so it's good. So there's a guy in there. That's good to know. Good God. What could this machine be used for? Is there a connection between this corpse and the machine? Jeez. The corpse is complete. Whose are these limbs? Jeez. Should be two hours in the cells next week. Can we cure this horrible? <gasps> Try voltage, okay. Good to know if there's a hiding spot if I need it. Okay, there's an electrical room back here. Good to know, good to know. Let's forget to the more free form. It's an ammeter. I didn't expect to see one on this little rock. Hmm. I wonder if I throw that, if that's going to cause... Could cause a distraction. I need to investigate more. What is going on here? Francis Sanders, according to his record, the patient seemed to suffer from psych seems to suffering seems to be suffering from psychosis. He gouged his own eyes out and attacked with delirium. Oh jeez. I wonder if that's the, the guy that they took out. Uh of his cell. This machine seems to consume a great deal of electricity. What will happen if I increase the current to the limit? Yeah, I have a feeling that's another thing I could do. Is I could turn this up to max limit and blow up something. At least make sure nobody else gets tortured on this thing. Worse and worse. The liquid connects it to the electric current. What are its properties? Jeez. Spray it on people, try to turn them into fishy folk. Terrible. This is madness. Are they seriously thinking of transmitting the properties of this meat by electric current? Oh, 
That's all, my wife is upstairs. Turns out she's at Kroger. Hopefully buying some snacks and food I can make for more dinner later. Just in case nobody in here. That's good. <gasps> oh, shoot. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Okay. Close by me? There's a guy patrolling. Zoology, esotericism, mineralogy, and a full shelf on cephalopods. Cephalopods. Maybe that's this guy's spot. Okay, I get it. I have weird claustrophobia issues of some sort. that hallway and just walks around in a circle so is that dr fuller again dr fuller <laughs> let's see a document testing to the fact that irene sanders wife of francis sanders had her husband interned after he had shown grave signs of madness let's see if i can do this um <laughs> in the county court of the state of massachusetts for the county of suffolk in the matter of the examination and con commitment of Francis Sanders, Gawain, an insane person, to the Honorable um, Adolph Wardell, Wardell uh, County Judge of said county, the undersigned petitioner respectfully re presents and shows to your honor that Irene Sanders, a householder of this county, that Francis Sanders is an insane person, <laughs> by the reason of hallucinations, is suffering from self-harm, insomnia, and repeated violence, and it's a proper subject for the confinement in the same time of the state, Riverside, of the state, Riverside and State. Wherefore, your petitioner prays that you cause said Francis Sanders will be brought before you at such places place as you may direct and do inquiry made at, as prescribed by law concerning the matters alleged in this petition. Nothing on that. Okay. Anatomy, anthropology, nothing surprising. This one? Sarah Hawkins. She was a patient here. Jack of all trades. I'm definitely reading that writing. Can't even zoom, so I'm not even trying. Sarah Hawkins was interned at Riverside for fit seven sandy a while before her death. She wasn't at her she wasn't at her first attempt with the fire at the mansion. Hmm. Interesting. So just... Zoology, esotericism, mineralogy, and a full shelf on cephalopods. Got us a pizza for the oven. So, look, pizza's back on the menu tonight, boys. Oh my gosh, will this thing quit defaulting to the lantern? It's really annoying. Alright, um. Because I only knew what that was. He's seeing that? Oh, it's a lady.
Also, where is that green spot down there? Is that there? <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out where this green light goes. <laughs> wow, that's like that's way, way out there. Okay. It's locked. Hmm. Means if I want to do that, I'm gonna have to find the guy's keys or something. Note to staff: Last week's incident caused significant damage to the infrastructure, putting a stop to current experiments. This is unacceptable. From now on, the wheels to operate the gas stock. Stopcocks must be kept in the storage room after each use. Moreover, you must keep the register of use up to date. Dr. Ford. Okay, well, I have one of those things. So that's good to know. I don't want to squander the opportunity to escape. Though. The green gas leaves from here and it runs through the whole building. Perfect. Oh, cool guy. Okay. Don't know what this does. Have I activated anything? Yes. I don't know if I want to do it, but it's an option. Oh my gosh, can this thing really stop? It's locked. Sandy's still stable. Ooh, I think I see it now. It empties and drains. Ooh, I don't like it. This lever must turn on the gas machine. Now for the next step. This valve controls the pressure.
I don't know, staff. I've repaired your machine. Dr. Floyd, I've repaired your machine as best as I can. However, the piping has been damaged, and I fear that gas is escaping. I cannot do any more in such a short time. All I can do is warn you. If the equipment is under too much pressure, there's a risk of explosion. Okay, man. I got, like, so many different... Not so many, but there's just... So here's another option. I don't necessarily want to do it, but it is an option. Okay. Time to go investigate again. I wish I'd get this guy scared. Perfect. With these chains on your wrist, you can't escape. Okay. <sighs> this guy seems to have a short run, but let's go do that a little. Here it comes. I sneak out. Scopolamine, morphine, opium, nothing but common drugs. Oh, here we go. I think I found another medicine thing. History of medicine in the 19th century. It's a colossal work of an aristocrat from long generations of physicians rolled in this encyclopedic work on medicine of the past century. More complete, old, more complete than older works, it sometimes mentions in detail certain methods from, from Asia and Africa. Okay. 
Does that mean I have to find those things again? Let's see. Oh, because this is my last hit and see because I unlocked it. Okay, so I really have to be fast because that guy lock up. Thomas. Okay, maybe I'll carefully tail this guy so I know his his pattern. With these chains on your wrist, you can't escape. Scopolamine, morphine, opium, nothing but common drugs. because I feel like if I do the gas thing, well, that might eventually make it stop pumping stuff for everybody. It might also subject me and other people to, or at least to this nightmare gas stuff, which I don't like. Turned on green, so yellow, red, blue. Blue's here. So it's yellow and red, I need to find. Ah. down the hall, I'm going to say I think so, but... Do -do 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 okay. It's done. Now for the others. Game saved, Ray. Okay. Okay, he 
looks kind of fast. Not super fast. It's the same constant speed, but... Right, four days maximum. Five at the most. Okay, seems to be oblivious to me. So that's good. Don't want to hide in there. Gotta hurry, gotta hurry. Turns that way. Okay, got it. Did you know? Hey, no clue. <laughs> I bet there's no longer any priests on Darkwater. Ugh, oh, rosary. I found this rosary in one of the cells in the cellars of the Riverside Institute. It rep its representation of the Virgin looks nothing like I've ever seen. Yeah, because that Cthulhu Virgin. me. I feel it in my head and in my body. He roars and swells and has strength of oceans. Its waves rise and crash, leaving behind them only a trail of white nourishing foam. Guess I can't grab this crowbar. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. People saying crazy things. If get I, me out! If he does not, me sleep, he does not catch me. If he does not catch me, I do not sleep. If I do not sleep, I do not see him. I do not hear him. If he does not call me, he does not call me. He calls me. If I walk, I do not stop. If I do not stop, I catch him. If I catch him, I sleep. If I sleep. Here this seems to be another hiding spot. Good, good, good. Okay. What's his face? Doesn't patrol. It's here. Wait for him because he'll come walking by, he'll turn right.
times. Anything in that other prisoner block, purse, inmate block, or check? It's taking a while. Gotta be all sneaky, or else it's game over. <sighs> Take this time to talk about today's energy drink, which is Big Game Energy. Which I think it's made by the people who do Buck Up Energy. Or Bucked Up, I don't know. I saw it at Walmart. I hardly ever go to Walmart. And it looked interesting enough. The taste was interesting. It's supposed to be like sour gummy. I didn't really taste any sour, but I guess it kind of did taste like gummy. I don't know. It wasn't a bad taste. Overall, it was good? Question mark? Okay, so he's not going to see me, so that's good, 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 good. That's the other cell block. Which nobody patrols. Great. Okay, this is back to the hallway. Okay, so this is locked. And... Okay, I already went in here and I unlocked this because that was green. <sighs> There's a guy who patrols... He just walks from storage room to the other storage room. guy who <sighs> patrols in there. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's maybe check out this guy's room. He walks, looks, and he stops and looks over there and hacks away at some awful fish flesh. <laughs> Oop, and then he Don't see me, go away. I think we got a walker. No. Oh. oh shit. You don't see me. I'm not here. Go away. I bet you there's probably an achievement of like never being seen on this level, but oh. Go away, jerk. Yeah. 
Okay, let's observe him from here. <laughs> Just goes around, walks over. Is he coming here? Okay, so he walks from one corner of the room to the other. <sighs> Stupid me trying to find all the clues. Why do I do this to myself? check that office and maybe unlock it from the other side. It's like, get out without being seen. So I really hope there's nothing else in this awful kitchen I want. You no know, see me. Yay, the lean works. I'm just glad I don't have to avoid, like, crunchy ground and stuff. Okay, because then he comes and looks over here. So if I'm quick enough, sneaky enough, Come on, buddy, you don't see me. Go away. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, he's chilling in this corner right here. Yeah, you there, come here. I don't know what you're doing there, but you don't seem to be friends with the nurses. Do I can I... help you. Help me, and I'll owe you one. Do I talk to this guy? What do you want? Sleep. That's all. Sleep? You don't want to leave? No. Have you seen the storm that's brewing? I'm fine here. Except for one problem. You want sleeping pills, right? Yeah, and in exchange, I can make noise. Lots of noise. You'll draw the guards to your cell to allow me to escape. So, you in? Find something to make me sleep, and I'll take care of the guards for you. Hmm, another option. Let's talk about his sleeping problem. Is it the noise that disturbs you? No, it's the nightmares. We all have them here. That's what wakes us up. And afterwards, there's no way to get back to sleep. Hmm. I won't promise anything. If I find something, who knows what I'll do. Don't play the wise guy because you're on the outside and I'm not. Just don't give me away, bro. So, have you got him? Not yet. Hurry up if you don't want them to find you. You don't see me, bro. Stop that. Okay, any clues? Probably not. It's probably just another hiding space.
card right there. Yep, shit. There's gotta be a way to get over that well. Oh, I wonder if I if it's I have to make him suspicious so he'll leave. There's just another way to bypass it. Part of me wants to check the kitchen, but I don't know if there's actually anything in here. See me? Oh shit. Who's there? Shit, shit, shit. Hey! You there? No, no. This way. No, oh, you don't see me. Try to find me again. Is that bastard still looking around for me? Go back to your regular pattern. Gosh, how is this guy so freaking eagle-eyed? Just, just go away, jerk. Oh my gosh. The sleeping pills are in there or somewhere else. How the heck do I get in there with this guy staring? Oh my gosh, okay. The guy totally changed his, his pattern. Where do they keep their sleeping pills? Go away, bro. Go away. My 
new friend's sleeping pills. What the heck? Frecker. Decisions. I know I need to make a distraction. I know I need to be able to get in that room. Oh, but I want to get in that room. Whew. Chicken stuff, no CP. You guard boy. Man, if only I could like throw stuff so I could, you know, cause distractions elsewhere. That's what I do with this guy. Is he sleeping? No, he's whistling. As soon as I make a distraction, though, am I going to automatically leave, or is it going to give me the chance to get out on my own? Oh, jeez! This guy! secondary rule. I didn't realize that.
This jerk face goes over here. I'm gonna check that damn corner. I might get caught again. I'm gonna check that damn corner. <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna go... Walking this way. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Glad it's from here, because I didn't really lose anything. Okay, so this stupid jerk... Precision and bleeding. Good practice. The controversial practice of bleeding is still exercised today. This book explains in minute detail the, difference me the different methods as well as the instruments required. These methods are outdated, not very effective, and it is to be hoped that the reading of such a work is purely for certain purposes. Wow. This guy is supposedly supposed to be whistling, but I just snuck right by him he didn't get Hopefully it's saved after I grab the book, so what I can do... Oh, there. Is this guy gonna come by again? Let me move on with my life. Okay. Whoa, Nelly.
this other guard to come by and see if I can sneak to this room because this guy is sleeping or something. Close the door, damn him. No, stop it. Stop it. No, stop it. You there. <sighs> Alright, I can't sneak by this guy. <laughs> he just he gets suspicious for like five seconds. Oh man. I mean I'm gonna have to sneak and get that stupid skill up again. Thirty percent. Homer, if it was thirty percent before or not. There, let's go see if I can sneak in. Bro, hurry up. Come on. Freaking orderly. Take him forever. So don't go immediately to the right. I need to see if I uh, can find a spot in the back to hide. What carnage? Who's there? Theoretically, I've only got one lever to push. Okay, 
Let's see if I can get out of here now. Oh my gosh, there's parts hanging from the ceiling. This guy to stop looking over here. Okay, good. That didn't raise the suspicion. This stuff in this room, but none of it's actually investigated. Okay, we're gonna try doing the power thing. I don't know why. It would have been far easier for me to do any of I'll the go take a look. What? Oh, shit. Go away. You saw nothing. Saw nothing. You there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I decided to do that because hopefully I'll restart from where when I threw the switch, so then I can get out. Hopefully. What? Oh my goodness! It didn't start from the switch. see me if I throw the switch and then hopefully I'm gonna get out without, without getting caught. I'll go run and hide. What carnage? I'll go take a look. I press such charnel house of hospital, putrid smell, and total absence of respect for human life, as witnessed by this room, profoundly shocked Pierce, causing him some sanity. Hmm, maybe it's not worth doing this. Oh. But we'll try it out. Go away. Theoretically, I've only got one lever to push. Okay. Just gonna just go back out to standing right there. Just gonna start patrolling it too. He does start patrolling like a jerk. I don't want to protect my sanity, but... Oh, that guy doesn't move. Okay, so last thing to do is go sneak, take a sneak peek at that book again. 
Okay. All right, since I took the sanity hit, let's just go ahead and do this already. All the levers are activated. All right, let's see what happens. That should draw the attention of the guards. I should hide. Damn it. What's going on? Uh, I went the wrong way. way. I'll let Fuller know. Nice. I just do all the things? <laughs> hey bro, I came back with your sleeping pills. Those guys are gone from the front. to do this or is he gonna be like nope that was your chance you're done actually I should spend my points first okay let's see dee 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 investigation level four hidden or up my psychology one into psychology but also work on a bumped up spot hidden I guess all right validate how's my sanity looking 
Could be better, but it also could be a lot worse. Inventory, hey. I saw these sleeping pills. Because I did the other one, I can't do this now. Man, I don't know if it was worth taking that sanity kit thing for all this. But. I guess it is what it is. Should have just done this and avoided the sanity damage. Oh my gosh, bro. You freaking stop. Time to get out of here. Oh, but I wonder if I made that gas explode too, if that would have slowly drained my sanity as well. Ugh, I'll never know. Oh jeez, I'm gonna take another sanity. Oh, this is the guy, Francis. What are they doing to you, bro? Is that you? Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy with his precious machine. It gives us time to get away. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I, I can't go anywhere. It'll find me, like it found me here. You're mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me, or you'll end up the same way. I don't think I don't have good enough medicine. Professional cheese. You know, abandon the wounded. Ooh, which sounds like eh, let's just have to unlock this. You're Sanders, aren't you? I heard you from myself. What did they do to you? What does Fuller want with you? The doctor? You think it's the doctor who scares me? The doctor wants to heal me. But he's the one who's crazy. He wants to restore my sight. He wants to give me back my eyes. And yet I told him that I didn't want him. I do not want to see it anymore. The real culprit is Sarah. Her and her accursed paintings. You're kidding me. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> The one and only. The legendary. There is no artist more enlightened or cursed than Sarah Hawkins. In her office, I saw signs of a ritual, perhaps an invocation. These things, that's what makes you say she's cursed. You're wrong. It was not an invocation, but a revocation. <laughs> but she failed. And that's what counts. What's going on on this island? I'm... I'm so sorry. We should never have met. What are you talking about? Partnership. Destiny! It has trapped you! Don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. Don't look at it! That's how it finds you! What finds me? Sarah Hawkins visitor? The Shambler? Sanders, pull yourself together. The Shambler. Without her, it's no longer possible to save me. Jamin, the aficionado of horror. No! 
It alone. <laughs> the weirdness of Francis Sanders' death went far beyond anything Pierce had ever seen. Lift off speed by invisible force, the poor man's body was carried into the air, being thrown violently against the bars of his hiding place. Pierce, powerless, watched the, the limbs break as Sanders' body crumbled to the ground. During long moments of agony, the detective saw nothing that could explain this event. Weakened by his wounds and the operations he could remember undergoing, Pierce began to question his ability to tell the difference between reality and the nightmares that haunt him. Dang it. I thought maybe, like, you know, I had to drain that whole thing, then my thing would go down? Nope. My sanity, what have I done? Shaken, the ordeals you have gone through have left their mark, but you still manage as best you can. You keep your mind busy in order to chase away doubts and people memories. You still have some way to go. Who knows where your mind could lead you along the path of It's sanity. insane. What killed him? Jeez. Okay. Investigate? Nope. All right, I need to protect my sandies. That means. Oh, I don't want to be crazy. Should have just gotten out of here when I had a chance. I just had to dig. Dig, dig, dig. Wait, what? Are you kidding me after all this? After all this? Locked? Oh, dude, she went to my Am I gonna get caught anyways? Because there's just a guy freaking waiting there? I was gonna have to talk to him, wasn't I? Because I wasn't. The top was on, was still locked, so I'd go through here and then, yeah, okay. I wonder if I could have said anything else. Lord, the result's always the same. <coughs> oh no! <coughs> ah, run! <coughs> Move on. Yay! We're finally out. Pierce woke up in asylum, installed in the cellars of the Riverside Institute. He, he met Dr. Golden, a female friend of Bradley, who helped him escape. Wandering through the corridors of the place where Dr. Fuller reigned supreme, Pierce was able to talk to a man called Francis Sanders. Before dying in full view of the detective, he accused Sarah Hawkins of being the cause of his torments. Pierce finally left the accursed building, accompanied by Bradley and Golden. The companion, it's a misfortune, decided to use the Hawkins mansion as a hideout. All right, I'm going to take a quick minute or two break to use the restroom, and then we'll go ahead and keep on playing. BRB.
Okay, here we go. Enter madness. Who goes there? Character point. And I missed something before that would have given me some mental trauma. I don't know what it was. I wonder where it was at where I would have missed it. I don't know. I wonder if it had been something like if I had fought and killed that uh, housekeeper or something, maybe. Maybe that's what it would have been. That nightmare again. I need a drink. No, no alcohol. How is he alive? Because that's where he got killed. No. Huh. I want to know what Bradley and Dr. Colden have to say about all this. Okay. Cool. Just double check and make sure no item new stuff popped up. Alright, I need to spend that character point here in just a second. Seventy-five percent chance to spot something hit. It's, it's a good chance. Definitely near the top of my oh jeez. Hey guys. You're awake, Mr. Me? Pierce. How do you feel? Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. Yeah. No. I want to know what Bradley and Dr. Colden have to say about all this. Fine, fine, fine. Hmm. I bet you whiskey and stuff restores my sanity, but no. No alcohol. I won't do it. No. I will stay sober. How are you alive? I saw you get killed, did it? How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. I... Th there are things I, I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? Decision time. Hmm. I don't have high enough occultism. Jeez. Hmm. I don't have high enough medical. 
What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. Oh, Seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? Either Bradley actually died and they... Either he died and came back, or he's not Bradley. Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion, you don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor, then... Uh... Then what? I... Uh... The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then? I went to visit you at the hospital. And called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. Mm. Interesting. Is that grayed out, or if I insist it's gonna do something this way? Hmm. Cold psychology. Dang it, I should have missed that that point back in here. Oh, well. Let's try it. I heard you talking earlier. Why am I not surprised? I get the impression you two don't get along. Intrusive and not very clever. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the business at hand. Did I... Did I not get that? I heard you talking earlier. Why? I get the impression... Intrusive. Anyway. Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was fullest creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes. And as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything else? I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins' name in the Institute's basement. It makes sense. A powerful family like the Hawkins had the means to hide such a disgrace. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kind. Yes. I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. It's the truth, Ethan. And I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. Both hire a cult and medicine. Damn. Oh. You know what they had me do? Oh. I have flashbacks. 
They haunt me. What did they do to you? There was that doctor, Fuller, and a nurse. Blood everywhere. My legs, the pain, I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. I woke up at the Institute. Bradley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed... demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, I got a good look at what's in store for the patients of the Riverside Institute. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? I did discover this, dang it. I, I met a Francis Sanders. You know him. Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. I know, if I say this, I'll sound more crazy. Ah, I'm gonna say it. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sander said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, oh, that's Irene right. Sanders. He was the one I read An the art thing collector, was, you was say? Buying that's probably the how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, Please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. <sighs> to confront the truth or be prudent. Oh, jeez. Oh, I don't know what these choices mean. Aaron on it. You're right. Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, let's not jump to conclusions. That seems wise indeed. Very well. I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death so and Sarah Hawkins. Destiny. What does that mean? Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. It means whether people think I'm crazy or not, or what? What does this mean? What does it mean? Francis Sanders, age 47, occupation art dealer. Francis Sanders knew Sarah Hawkins so well that he accused her of being the source of his suffering. The man gouged his eyes out with his own hands and smeared the walls of his cell with esoteric symbols. He seemed to be obsessed with a shambler linked to Sarah Hawkins. He died before my eyes in circumstances I cannot explain. Oops, go back. Um, Dr. Fuller. 
Occupa CH52 Occupation, Riverside Senior Physician, Dr. Florida Reigns, as the undisputed master of the Riverside Institute and other cellars in which he carries out illegal experiments on his patients. I don't know what he has done to me, but I shouldn't be back on my feet so soon after my fall when the tunnels under the Hawkins Mansion caved in. This man is dangerous, and I'd swear that he knows more about all this business than he's willing to tell. Oh, he might pump me full of that goo, which can heal and maybe even brings people back to life. Who knows? Officer Bradley should be dead. Why he's alive. Places! Selling on the Riverside Institute. Strictly speaking, I didn't spend much time in the hospital. When I woke up, I was immediately transferred into the cellars of the Institute, a sort of clandestine asylum where, the, where Dr. Fuller carried out his experiments on patients. Without being troubled, unknown machines sit beside anatomical drawings that are uh, that are disturbing, to say the least. I just managed to escape from this place, and now I have as much luck another time. Let us go now and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. Let us go now and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. The other night's events are still confused in my head. The other night's events are still confused in my head. Let us go now and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. Oops, wrong button. Dang it. Knowledge. History medicine. Actually, uh, let's see. The rosary. Incision. Inspector. I can't 3D rotate it. You know what I mean? Like up and down. Is that the sign of the comet? Okay. Again, I'm guessing there's nothing else that popped up here. Stay strong, stay sober. Sanders residence. Pierce, Colden, and Bradley decided to team up to solve the Sarah Hawkins case. They have a new tr trail to follow. Frank Sanders, an art collector friend of the painter who died right in front of Pierce. The detective goes to his house in order to speak to this widow about the shambler that the unfortunate man mentioned before he died. Hmm. I really hope that was the right decision to not tell her. Awkward silence. Knock, knock. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Oh? Well, well. Look who's here. Hmm. Is this her mother? You know each other. We met briefly. Time enough to iron out a few matters. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. <laughs> it's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. 
This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? What happened to your husband is terrible, Mrs. Sanders. But from what I saw, it was inevitable. The man I met yesterday had lost his reason. He suffers no longer, if you would allow me such a platitude. Of course. Thank you for your kind words. Nobody in that hospital would have deigned That's to speak destiny, to me. Okay. However, it will require more than that to soothe my mind. I need to understand. How could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes? Did you not do anything to help him? Mm, I can do eloquence. No, oh, that's gonna blame her. Let's see. So ask Fuller, he's the eminent doctor. But I would caution you, you'll find his treatments more terrifying than the illnesses he sets out to cure. That churl no longer takes the trouble to receive me. He sends his secretary to tell me that I cannot see Francis. Me, his own widow. You must think that I am a terrible wife for having abandoned him in such a way. But I only wanted what was best for him. I'm not here to condemn you. Mrs. Sanders. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Well, it's tempting to ask about cats. Well, let's just ask. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. Well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it, I would urge you to make the most of your visit. Because I count on ridding myself of that thing as soon as I can. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. Yay, 2CP. Okay. Whew, okay. Let's get this up to 50. Ooh, we got five. Okay, let's get Or, sorry. Oh, I need five more. Sorry. Okay. Let's get a psychology at least up to 50%. And then...
water. Irene Sanders, age 41. Occupation, none. What a bum. It's clear that she holds Sarah Hawkins' husband responsible for the death of her husband. But what I don't understand about Irene Sanders is this mix of sadness and insensitivity. It looks like she had given up on her husband long before his horrid death at the cellars of the Riverside Institute. I wonder what I could have got out of her if I had tried, uh... Eloquence. <sighs> Cat. Let me guess. I have a feeling she's... Cat Sanders, probably. Oh, but she said she didn't say mother, or she didn't say my father, so I guess that went out. Okay, no option to talk with her anymore. Okay, got it. The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. Sarah Hawkins X is Sanders. They must be close. Gosh, it's a horrible thing with teeth. Oh. Reconstruction. Did she really care for him after all? Dear madam, I acknowledge receipt of the letter in which you demand the body of her deceased husband. I'm sorry to inform you that I cannot agree to return his body to you. At the moment of his internment, you signed a discharge allowing me to dispose of his body as I see fit. So I'm going to use condolences to you, Thomas Fuller. Shh. Medicine. The second volume of the series covers everything from gas gangrene to trench nephritis. In addition to a precise, detailed study, the book presents some avant garde theories. The incredible complexity of this book reserves it for medical experts. Alright, um. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler, finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? Interesting. A house of artists. A house of artists. He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? She despises Sarah Hawkins, but it's the painting she truly hates. Why? She didn't want Sanders to have the painting. She must have felt devastated. The Shambler. 
I need to see it. Uh, take Sandy damage again. Let's see. Am I gone crazy? Mm, I don't think I took Sandy hit. Okay. Clues! Cross-checking the information given by Francis Sanders in his when it was possible to reconstruct the events that led to the internment of Sanders. Everything points to Sanders and Sarah Hawkins being close, linked to at least by the interest of a collector showed in the artist's work, but more probably by a certain friendship, tested to by the repeated refusal of Sarah Hawkins to sell the painting called the Shambler. Against all expectations, she finally gave it away for free. The feelings still shown by Irene Sanders towards Sarah Hawkins are evidently derived from what she considers to be the artist's responsibility. Madness struck Sanders a short while after he gained possession of the painting. Interesting. Very interesting. Are these all pieces of art by Sarah Hawkins, or are they in different? Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. It's not a recording that Francis Sanders left for his wife, Irene. See a huge mistake, maybe not. We're gonna find out. Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. He's inside my head. I see him behind my eyelids. Each time I shut my eyes. Mm. I can't take any more. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. That accursed gallery. Those accursed paintings. That accursed Sarah. that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter, except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. He's inside my head. I see him behind my eyelids each time I shut my eyes.
feel like that's important. Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter, except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. He's inside my head. I see him behind my eyelids each time I shut my eyes. Is this dagger part of Sanders' collection, or was he seeking to acquire it? Whoa, I found something. Cool. Art and mysticism. Forgotten Objects is a collection written by Francis Sanders. In it, he catalogs and categorizes objects from all ages and origins that are linked to occult or mystical practices. It is, this, it is open at the page of a dagger that bears a symbol that is not unknown to me. Whoa. Occultism progression. Look at that beautiful thirty five percent clues inventory. All right, okay, let's see anything else. Oh, I'm Steve's here a second. there and then hopefully I'll hit a point where we'll save soon and then we might have to call it there for this time on Tuesday. I'm gonna look around first before I talk to people. I could use sleeping. one of those. More sleeping pills. A strange Amerindian pendant. Pretty. Occultism progression. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. Oh. Hope I didn't miss a volume somewhere. It might have. Anyways, uh, this volume spends some time on Reverend Wickwood's community. His wife expresses her worries about the strange dreams that Reverend's congregation are having since their arrival on the island. Some members of the community her husband included, began to speak of their vision as a messenger sent by God. She is scared they will suffer the same fate as the lost tribe. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting, to finally give it away for nothing. Dear Francis, I beg you to give up all hope of ever owning this accursed painting. If our friendship has any meaning for you, please spare me the weight of guilt. I, you, I cannot be the architect of your fall. I beg you, my dear friend, forget the shamrock. Your friend, Sarah Hawkins. Brief History of Darkwater Island by Dr. Erwin Greenmouth. It is focused on the past glory of the island. Okay. Did I close the door so we can get into it? Um, look. 
dissertation on an anatomical question. It is the work of a student in book form. Although the observations are relevant, they lack the experience of an experienced expert or expertise of an experienced physician. However, the question asked allows us to imagine new ways of exploring human anatomy. Occultism is least professional now. Dang. If only I could tell them she was the object of the cult. I don't know. Can't go back in time. Strength. <laughs> Aha! Key to the Sanders Gallery. Okay, what? If I couldn't open it, there to pick the lock or just not get in the room? <laughs> That's twice you've stepped on my toes, detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? Hmm. I'm not here to cause trouble, if that's what's worrying you. Worry me? Don't overestimate yourself. If the last beating wasn't enough for you, I can always give it another go. But as long as you keep out of my way, you're free to carry on with your visit. Ah. More sure of the dagger? Is that what she's here for? Nah, it's like a chance. I found this drawing of a dagger. Did you come across anything like it in your reading? Perhaps. I saw several daggers in the ledgers. I could always check. What I didn't find, however, was the slightest reason why I should help you, detective. I don't need your services. I can manage all on my own, thanks. <laughs> Do it then. I wonder if I've been taking... Not now, sweetheart. I'd like to read this without some snoop looking over my shoulder. Go take a hike, detective. Go take a hike, detective. Why would you read the book? Oh, gosh. Read the book, don't read the book. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Beyond reality! Oh gosh, am I gonna lose sanity because this? This will affect your destiny. <laughs> it's a kind of encyclopedia of monstrous and unknown creatures beginning to believe that they exist. Did I go in for trouble when I shouldn't have? of my sanity. No! And it affected my destiny, too. <laughs> I shouldn't have poked my nose in it. Why am I like this? Damn my curiosity. Damn my eyes. Sambler. Oh, geez, because I read 
this, I probably learned information on this. Dimensional Shambler comes from a dark and inhospitable dimension, where the rarity of food sources keep it in a state of permanent starvation. This is why it is in a constant state of readiness to travel to other dimensions in order to feed on its inhabitants. Make sure you never weaken the veils of your dimension, otherwise you risk attracting this very distant creature. Should this happen, you just have to lay eyes upon it for its being to anchor itself into your dimension and allow it to rip you open with its claws. Jeez. <laughs> no, I let this thing no. No. Oh, is that what happened? Because weakened the veils because Sanders laid his eyes on it. And now I'm gonna lay my eyes on it. And now this thing's gonna come rip me open. Why did I do this? Men will gather the knowledge through the lines dictated to me by the great old ones, but also in other volumes. The visions that assail me whisper my whisper me names and silhouettes of mystical natures. Soon the Malleus Monstor, Monstrorum, repository of all anatomical, cosmic, and dimensional knowledge, will be seen as the authoritative work. This book, unholy among the most cursed books, will one day be the final rampart between man and the predators that are waiting to devour him, hidden beneath the veils of parallel dimensions. Okay, well, oh, I know I started a little late, but now is probably a good time to call it a day. Man, I really want to get into this more. I want to keep playing, but I will be patient, as will the rest of you, or just like the rest of you will have to be, so uh, let's go ahead and pause it. All right, again, thanks guys for checking this out. Thank you so much if you're watching this on YouTube as well. Um, if you're on Twitch, please go ahead and give me a follow. Um, or if it's far enough in the future, low future, if you give me a, if you go ahead and subscribe, uh, but at least follow so you can get notifications when I'm on. If you're on YouTube, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Um, and help encourage me to make more of these videos and stuff, and uh, hopefully quit my day job one day. So until then, guys, thank you so much. Um, again, I'm Stumpwater Jack. Thanks so much for checking the channel out, and I'll see you next time. And don't forget to remember to bring a little bit of magic to the world. All right, see you guys. Bye.